Hi, my name is Robin Voss. I'm a design engineer at Fritz Jurgens. We design high-end pivot door solutions with a passion for details. Our systems are hidden in the door, offering endless design possibilities and the ultimate door experience. Today, we will be talking about installing System M or System M Plus with a 70mm or cable grommet top pivot. We'll be covering all parts of this product family, the required tools, installation, fine tuning and Q&A. This is a Fritz Jurgens System M32 Plus in combination with the 70mm top pivot. This is a system from the System M family that focuses on side placement for single or double acting doors. This is the part of the pivot hinge that is mounted on the bottom side of the door. So this is the bottom pivot point. After mounting, this part of the hinge is almost completely invisible. The only visible parts are the adjustment screws here at the bottom. You're going to have to look very closely to spot them. This axis here stands in the floor plate and keeps the door in place. The system is mounted inside the door. Only the floor plate pins go eight millimeters into the floor. That's all. Every pivot hinge by Fritz Jurgens is made of premium materials. A hinge like this will outlast more than a million cycles. That equals 136 years of daily use. This system has three extra features. They're operated with adjustment screws. These screws slightly stick out from the bottom of the door so you can access them. The features are speed control, damper control and latch control. We'll explain them all later in this video. This is Fritz Jurgens top pivot 70 millimeters. One of the top pivots that Fritz Jurgens offers and it's extremely diverse. It can be used in combination with every Fritz Jurgens pivot hinge, both for side placement and middle placement. Its position can range from 70 millimeters from the side of the door to middle placement. This is Fritz Jurgens top pivot cable grommet. We can install it in the same way as the top pivot 70 millimeters. This is just one of the top pivots that Fritz Jurgens offers. It's designed for easy wiring through the door and it is really diverse. We can apply it in combination with every Fritz Jurgens pivot hinge, both for side placement and middle placement. Its position can range from 91 millimeters from the side of the door or to middle placement. These top pivots are mounted inside the top of the door. So this is the top pivot point. After the mounting, this whole system is mostly invisible. Only a small ceiling plate is visible. This guides the spindle of the top pivot into the ceiling. We may turn the spindle upward when you're installing the door. This keeps the door in place together with the axis of the pivot hinge in the bottom of the door. After we've installed the door, we've got the freedom to slightly adjust the door's placement by using these adjustment screws. Now we can move the door slightly to one or the other side to get it perfectly straight. This is one of Fritz Jurgens floor plates suitable for both System M and System M Plus. The floor plate is the only thing that goes into the floor with these eight mm pins. We can choose to go for two pins or four pins, depending on our floor type. The axis of the system fits here in the floor plate. This is what keeps the door in place. The resultant force of the door is distributed evenly across the floor. This one's made from 420 stainless steel and it's fully scratch resistant. The 300 series is not hard enough for this type of application. That's why we've chosen this hardened 400 series. Here we can see one of Fritz Jurgens ceiling plates. It's the stainless steel version that's suitable for most top pivots. We mount the plate onto the ceiling. It guides the spindle of the top pivot into the ceiling to secure the position of the door. This ceiling plate is made from high quality stainless steel and is given a brushed finishing. On the inside, a plain bearing is mounted to guide the pin smoothly. Every pivot hinge order also contains the tools for mounting the door. Included in the box, you will first find the mounting manual. It shows us the mounting process step by step. In this case, the System M Plus adjustment card is also added. This card will guide us through the movement adjusting process of the System M Plus if we want to adjust the movement further. When installing a pivot door with the Fritz Jurgens pivot hinge system, we're going to need some tools. With the pivot hinge system, you've received various tools in the box. Additional tools that are required are a pencil, a power drill, and an appropriate size drill bit 
for the correct ceiling and floor material. Some items that might come in handy for the installation are some masking tape, some filling plates to measure the gap around the door, a small block of wood for hammering the floor plate straight, a rubber hammer, a Fritz Jurgens axle wrench, and a crossline four point laser. Mounting a pivot door with a Fritz Jurgens pivot hinge is always done in four steps. First, we mount the floor plate, then, we mount the ceiling plate, third, we mount the door, and finally, we fine tune the door. It is good to know that the installation process of System M and System M Plus is almost the same. The only difference is the fine tuning of the door's movement at the end of the installation. Simply because System M Plus has two extra fine tuning features. The installation process of the top pivot 70mm is almost the same as the top pivot cable grommet. The only difference here is that the maximum pivot point to the side of the door of the top pivot 70mm is, of course, 70mm. The maximum pivot point of the top pivot cable grommet is 91mm. Today, we're installing a System M32 Plus and a top pivot 70mm in this door. System M32 Plus is suitable for side placement only. Our pivot point is located at 70mm from the side of the door. The maximum pivot point closest to the door for top pivot 70 millimeters. This door is 2.6 meters tall, 1.2 meters wide and weighs about 80 kilograms. Our first step is to mount the floor plate onto the floor. We're working with one floor type oriented strand board. Today we're using the square stainless steel floor plate for System M and System M Plus. If you have another type of floor or floor plate, click your option. It is very important to know the spacing, the gaps, around your door. Based on this, we determine where your floor plate should be placed. In our case, the door is 40 mm thick. The distance from the pivot point to the edge of the door is 70 mm. The spacing between the door and the wall should be 5 mm. We can use a tape on the floor to draw the floor plate placement on. We draw a line. This is the middle of the floor plate. We calculate this by adding your gap to your pivot point. We can use another tape for the second line. Just place the stencil in the middle. We can also use a five millimeter block to make sure it is in the right position. Now, drill the holes for your floor plate. I go for two because I have a single solid floor. We can use a tape on the drill at 11 millimeters. As the stencil is 3 mm, we know exactly when we've drilled 8 mm deep. My drill has a diameter of 7.5 mm because this is a wooden floor. Now we can use a laser pointer to determine the placement of the ceiling plate. If we do this now, we can still see the exact middle of the floor plate marked on the floor. Now add glue to the holes you've drilled. Don't overflow the holes. Finally, add some glue on the bottom side of the floor plate. We can use a rubber hammer to put the floor plate in place. It might be useful to use a small block so the floor plate pins go straight down into the holes. Leave the installed pivot door in the open or closed position for 24 hours after installing to allow the glue to set. The second step is mounting the ceiling plate to the ceiling. Drill a hole of 20 mm deep with an 18 mm drill. We can use a tape on the drill to mark 20 millimeters so we know exactly when we've drilled 20 millimeters. Just a tip. Then we mark the placement of the plate on the ceiling. Now we know where to pre-drill. To make it square, we can use a crossline laser. Then pre-drill the holes for the ceiling plate screws somewhere about 20 millimeters deep with a drill of a diameter of two millimeters. We can use a tape to mark this. We put a layer of glue to the ceiling plate. Then affix the plate to the ceiling and screw the screws into the ceiling. 
Once again, make sure to leave the installed pivot door in the open or closed position for 24 hours after installing to allow the glue to set. The third step is placing the door. It is important that the door is installed in the opened position. Make sure the arrow on the spindle of the system is pointed towards the latch side of the door. We can use the axle wrench to rotate the spindle into the right position. We might use a tape with a small arrow on it to determine the placement of the spindle. This will help to locate where we should lower the door when putting it in place. Land the spindle under the door into the floor plate. Then put the door up straight. Use the Allen key to extend the top pivot into the ceiling plate. It's important to rotate eight times, no more or less. The door is now in place. We can move on to the final part of the installation, fine tuning the door. First, we're going to fine tune the radial position. By doing this, we can move the door slightly inside the frame or wall to make it perfectly flush. I'll show you how the mechanism works. First, unlock the floor plate by loosening all four screws. In this case, use the right screw to move the long side of the door towards you, or move the left screw to move the pivot door away from you. Then, tighten one adjustment screw until you feel resistance. Finally, lock the floor plate in place with the other three screws. The next step is fine-tuning the closing seam. If your door is slightly angled, you can adjust the closing seam by using the top hole at the top of the door. Rotate to the left to move your door towards you or to the right to move the door away from you. Then we can fine tune the movement of the door. System M and System M Plus are both equipped with damper control. Damper control allows you to increase or decrease the opening damping. It's also called hydraulic back check and soft close. This is done with one single adjustment. System M only has one bottom adjustment screw. System M Plus has three. In this case, go for the middle adjustment screw. To increase damper control, rotate the adjustment screw slightly to the right. The door will now move slower. To decrease damper control, rotate the adjustment screw slightly to the left. The door will now move faster. The second fine tuning feature for the movement of the door is 30 degree speed control. This feature allows you to determine the speed of the door through the last 30 degrees of the closing movement. This feature is only available in System M+. To adjust 30 degree speed control, place the adjustment card on the floor with the right side up. Check the illustration with your door. In this case, we use the adjustment screw on the right. To decrease the speed of the door, rotate the adjustment screw slightly to the right. To increase the speed of the door, rotate the adjustment screw slightly to the left. The final fine-tuning feature of the door's movement is latch control. Latch control ensures that the door with latching bolts properly latches. Place the adjustment card on the floor with the right side up. Check the illustration with your door. In this case, we use the screw on the left. Latch control is either turned on or off. Latch control is always off when your system M Plus is delivered to you. To turn latch control on, rotate the screw to the left around 180 degrees. To turn latch control off, rotate the screw to the right around 180 degrees. Congratulations, we have now successfully installed our pivot door. It is important to know the gaps around your door when you install your pivot door. This is to ensure the door is in the correct position and does not touch the wall when in use. Because the door's edges are squared and the pivoting point draws a circle, we need a gap to clear the space for rotation. We can calculate this gap by using Fritz Jürgen's gap calculator. So when you're going to mount the door, you should add this number to the pivot point from the side of the wall. If the pivot point is not located in the middle of the door, the gap will not be the same at both sides. However, to make the gaps the same width, we should always choose the largest gap. If we want to return the door's adjustments to factory settings, we should start off by closing all the adjustment screws. Now all the oil channels are fully closed. Whether that's only damper control on system M or damper control, 30 degree speed control and latch control on system M+. 
We do this by turning all the adjustment screws towards the tortoise until we feel slight resistance. This gives you a clean slate to work on. Then we start with 30 degree speed control. Rotate this to 90 degrees, so a quarter of a circle. Second, move one screw over to damper control. Rotate this one to 180 degrees for system M32 or system M32+. When you've got an M42+, plus, rotate a circle and a quarter of a circle. When your door has a latch and you want to use latch control, rotate the adjustment screw 180 degrees, so half a circle. It is important to always adjust latch control at last. When our pivot point is located at more than 230 millimeters from the side of the door, the Allen key won't be able to reach the top pivot. Fritz Jürgens offers the hexagon guide in these cases. This is installed in the top of the door and guides the longer version of the Allen wrench. This is the hexagon guide. As you can see, it's fitted here in the door. We have two versions, one meter and two meters. We can also cut the hexagon guide to the desired size and use what's left on another door. If we do so, we should drill two holes in the top of the guide again to affix it. Another option would be to go for the top pivot reversed. This top pivot can be applied in both the ceiling and the top of the pivot door. This means that we are always able to access the top pivot either from the ceiling or from the top of the door. When the top layer of your floor is not solid or we're not sure if the material is suited for 8mm pins, we can always use the longer version of the pins. If needed, the 30mm pins can be shortened with a hacksaw at the notches of the pins. If we have floor heating, we need to make sure the pins don't interfere with it. A solution is to choose for Fritz Jürgen's floor plate flush. This floor plate is mortised inside the threshold, flush with the floor. This way, the drop seals don't interfere with the floor plate. Accessories, such as latch, drop seals, or other moist and draft repellent details need to overcome their resistance on the way to their zero degree position, especially when there's a ceiling on the sides of the door. That's why latch control on System M Plus is a great feature to ensure the door closes properly.